Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Lunch and Sit Learning Six Shape Up or Sleep Out. We're in that cellulite room. And uh, Gammy asked for a, an orange, which we have. So let's give her the orange so she has something to suck on. Oh, why, thank you, darling. You certainly know how to treat a woman. Oh, but please don't stop what you're doing. I can just feel myself getting thinner and thinner, and I love it. I hope you'll remember all the trouble I went to when we're all done. You won't just forget about me, will you, Gammy? No, oh, don't you worry, Larry, my boy. You'll taste pleasures far sweeter than this orange. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You're just eating that orange now? Sorry, you okay, uh, Gammy? Come on, Gammy. That's enough for one session. You've lost at least 16 inches. What do you say? No way. I'm no quitter. I want to have a girlish figure for once in my life. Just keep right on sucking, boy. Okay. <laughs> Remember, turnabout is fair play. But... Huh? Is there anything I can do for you? Oh, I sure could use a cool cloth for my fevered brow. In fact, I promise I'll make you a happy man. If I live through this. If, if she lives through this? Cool cloth. Got it. It's why we... Be sure to bring back a nice cool cloth for my head. You know how good I'll look when you're done with me. Just imagine the fun we can have, Larry. Yeah, yeah, I'm imagining it. Kinda. Just... I wanna play an adventure game, okay? Not be distracted by everything that you, you whisper in my ear there, Gammy. Good, good. So... Kitchen. Gotta go to the kitchen. Because that's where we kept our washcloth. Cooled it down. There's nobody at the reception because she's getting her... Her fetsicles getting sucked off. <laughs> this game, though. As long as you can help people, right? That's the whole premise. Helping people. Don't be a dick. Yeah, things should be fine. All right, let's pick it up. It should be somewhere there. If we can still find it, that is. You squished it in between some, I don't know, cherry cans of juice or bags of frozen peas. Tacos de Carlos, that's what it says. <laughs> yeah, pick it up. No, not close. Oh my god. Open. Use the other symbol. Pick it up. Your washcloth is now nice and cold. How refreshing. I wonder, will it ever warm up if we just not use it? No, we have to put it back again. Put it back in. Ugh. In the fridge. That's some... never mind. Alright, now let's head all the way back. Exit is there. This game is like a combination of the previous games with the, uh, the restaurant, uh, the fitness room, the shower area, locker room. Even though the locker room in 3 was a literal maze. Almost there, Larry. I wonder how much uh, cellulite is gone now. If you can actually see the dirt. Maybe she sucked so dry she's too thin. Who knows? No, yours, you're looking similar, but hey, here's a washing cloth. Very cool one. Here you go, Gammy. Oh, Larry. Just place it there on my forehead. Okay, will do. Oh, that feels so nice, Larry. 
<laughs> I'm getting all soft and fuzzy inside. Well, that does cool my temperature somewhat. But now I think what I really want is a nice bottle of mineral water. Oh, you'd do that for me, wouldn't you, Larry Honey Bunny? I'll make you one happy man when you do, believe you me. Really, woman? Oh, Larry Honey, don't forget my mineral water. I'm so dry. <sighs> Fine. I'll get you some water. Also, I know exactly where to get it. This time we are uh, moving one screen past the kitchen. So we're going to move there. Dun, dun, dun. The sound, man, it's like he's farting. He's just riding a fart toilet cart. With the fart sound too. <laughs> all right, one more screen to the right, and then we gotta move all the screens back too. Oh boy! So there should be. Um, one more screen. Should be a plate outside of a door. Amidst the leftovers of someone's recent meal, you find a brand new unopened bottle of mineral water. Well, let's pick it up then, because that's exactly what Gammy wants. You grab the bottle of mineral water from the tray, never knowing when you'll have a use for something without substance that's tasteless and overpriced. It's, even for nowadays standards, that's true. And, okay, I must say, it's easy for me to say because um, the water coming out of our faucets is actually cleaner than what you get in uh, bottled water here. Uh, stop it, Poofy. With your amazing country. Uh, don't believe it. There's always some taste of, I don't know, some kind of metal or chlor things uh, no our water is actually the cleanest as it can be it's completely safe to drink any faucet here is, that has water that's completely safe to drink and it's actually tasteless tasteless we don't need those fancy water filters or bottled water just bottled water here is the most stupidest thing ever since it's basically free when it comes out of the faucet at nice and cold too oh she is a lot thinner now but we got some water for you there you go now give me my reward i brought your mineral water gammy and i think you'd better check out your new body you look wonderful hey it's about time you showed up with it I feel like my eyeballs are about to be sucked into my body. Turn this thing off! Fine. You're so... svelte. <laughs> my golly, old Doc Swinebutt really knew his business, didn't he? My God! Look at me! You happy now? Oh, why, I do look wonderful. All my life I've hauled around a rear balcony and now <laughs> it's finally gone! A rear balcony. I can't wait to show every single person in La Costalata my new body! Wait, no, wait! But, Gammy... I thought maybe tonight, uh, you know, after I helped you, <laughs> you and I could, uh... Oh, Losser, you're so idealistic. Why would anyone who looks as good as I have anything to do with anyone who pff, looks like you? Hey, that's not nice. Now that I can have any man I want, 
I intend to. Not nice. Shallow. Wait, Gammy, stop! <sighs> Too late, Larry. She's gone. Yeah, that was a waste of time. Let's save it. Now it's a good time to save. Absolutely. So let's do it. Well, that didn't work out. I told you so. She's just not good enough for you, my little manhandler. Oh my god, Gary. Oh, shut up. You're such a charmer, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, we got plenty of other victims up her sleeve. Don't we, Larry? So let's move two screens to the left here. That artwork, though. Artwork on the wall. Looks pretty cool. Okay, so... Why are all the sculptures in this hotel naked? Who decorated this place? Is he obsessed? It's sculptures, okay. Or was it a she? Nobody knows. Uh, we need to go. This door bears a tiny brass plaque with the delicate La Costellata logo and the words Thunderbird, no waiting. Exactly. I want to check out this door too. Unlike you, this door is well hung. Very funny. No. Stop doing that. I'm not pressing any buttons. Woolard's world of leather? I'll be right there. Sorry? Oh, it's you. I was, um, <gasps> expecting someone else first. But don't worry. Thanks for coming, Larry. I'm so happy to see you again. Are you now? Uh, nice room, Thunderbird. I've never seen a place quite like this before. I bet I've got a lot of things here you've never seen before. Oh boy. I fixed you a drink. Help yourself. It's on the table. You're so aggressive. What is the drink? Is the martini? Oh. Oh. I can tell how much you enjoy your gold chains. Yes, I, I do. Uh, to me, they're a sign of virility. Whatever. Allow me to add a little ring around your collar. Um. What? Uh, do I really need to wear this? <laughs> it feels like a dog collar. It is, my naughty little puppy. But it is a very nice collar for a very nice little doggy. What have you gotten yourself into this time, Larry? Yeah, this is a very good question. May I help you undress? Well, I... Uh... Oh my god, my suit! Hey, what the hell kind of date is this anyway? Down on your hands and knees, dog. Sit, boy. <laughs> Sit up. Speak. Arf. Woof. <laughs> Louder. I can't hear you. Woof. Woof. Yes, that's right. You're the puppy dog, and I'm the mommy dog. He's getting a little bit weird. Well, you are quite the bitch. Oh, boy. Ow! <laughs> well, that's something. Again, a few hours later? My goodness. You awaken from an especially bad nightmare with a start. No! What? Oh, thank <laughs> heaven. It was only a dream. Oh, really? Then where did you get that dog collar? 
All right, so there is something on the dark collar. You carefully remove the large diamond and discard the stupid dog collar. Nice. So it wasn't a dream. We were actually <clears throat> humiliated. Or maybe not. I mean, if, if it's your king, K, who am I to judge, you know? You do you. But for Larry, I know for a fact that Larry isn't into those things because he thought it was a nightmare. Hey, Gammy is still gone. Gammy, what the hell? There's the fart machine again. Right, so we're going outside. And uh, to get there, we have to walk a few screens to the right. Um, and I can hear you thinking, like, why don't you leave the front entrance? That's We need a different exit or entrance. Depends on where you're standing. If you're standing outside, it's an entrance. If you're standing inside, it's an exit. But yeah, we gotta go all the way to the right. Ah, my sniffles. There we go. That's that's the exit that we need. And uh, we are going towards. And again, this reminds me of three. We're going to the beach. It should be up there. Ah, uh, please. That's not the beach. Should we move more to the right? Can we move further? We can't, but... You are standing in a woodsy area just outside the east end of the hotel. A walk leads off into the bushes to the east. Okay. South, then? I want to go to the beach, but I thought it was north. We could have taken... Oh my god. Is there no way for us to move further than this? No, well, apparently there isn't. So we have to pass the pool then? Probably not though, but... It's not the first time when that I get lost. There's the beach. Hmm, is there something sticking out of the sand over there? Yeah, uh, I think so. Here, where the sea crashes mercilessly over and over against the land, you stand and watch nature's raw power unleash its fury and might. But that's you, Larry, always standing and watching, never participating. So harsh. It's like you're a joke now, Larry. It's not nice. All right, so what's nobody's somebody's it? watching, I could build a sand castle right here. Why would you do that? Hey, what's this? While your sand castle will win no prizes, your diggings have revealed an ancient whale oil lamp buried in the sand. Okay. I'd better cover this up before anyone sees how dorky it looks. Sure you did well. What is this? The old whale oil lamp's wick is still usable. It's a whale oil which lamp. Which may not be the case with you, Larry. Oh, come on, stop it. Okay, so we need to fill that with oil or different kind of fat. Hear that? A different kind of fat. Where can we find a different kind of fat? Well, I know. We took the long way because this is the the opening to the swimming pool thing. So there's several ways to get there, yeah. So where can we get fat? Exactly. In the cellulite room. So let's head there. 
uh, it's two screens to the left from here. The next one is the lobby, I guess. Yeah, one more. Soupy doop boop dee doop. I like this song, though. It's so jazzy, relaxing. And there's the fart machine again. Hey, uh, Gary. How you doing, buddy? Don't mind me. I'm just cleaning up the machine. Right, so it, this should be the tap. This spigot is somehow connected to the vast cellulite tank farm at the rear of the room. Oh, I never looked at that. These tanks contain the cellulite removed from patients. Oh, disgusting. All right, so we know what to do. Fill it up. Good idea, Larry. It's a well-known fact that early settlers of the Old West often substituted cellulite when they ran out of whale oil. At least that's what Freddie Farkas, Frontier Pharmacist, told me. Which is also a very funny game that I intend to play, Freddie Farkas. All right, so we're going there. We're heading back to the gym, which is that way, if I recall correctly. Pass here through the showers. Now we should be inside of the gym. Well, not really, because of course we need to go there. Past the mud baths. Right. So we're heading into that door which leads to the aerobics class, but we're going to do that next time. So thank you very much for watching Larry's Suit Larry 6, Shape Hopper Slip Out, and I will see you next time.